Hey guys! Today we're going to be doing some big box store shopping. It's been a while since I did one of these videos. But before I head out into the world, huge thank you to the sponsor of today's video, Scentbird. Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service that allows us to shop from over 600 fragrance brands online. I really enjoy being able to try a new fragrance with a 30 day supply for just $16. They are also an extremely flexible subscription so you can skip any month with no penalties. My first two picks from Scentbird were Prada Candy and Versace Bright Crystal. I've been wearing them for years. Prada Candy is definitely a super sweet, but with a slight musky smell. I also love how clean smelling Versace Bright Crystal is as well. I really enjoy being able to try out new scents without again the commitment of a full bottle and I have three new scents which I will be trying. Story Venetian by Valmont Secret Bamboo and this is a super clean natural smell. I really enjoy it. It's pretty soft. I'll also be trying Hermetica Source One which to me smells kind of earthy and like woodsy with a slight citrus tone to it. And then the third one I'll be trying for the first time is Anna Sui Sky is the hardest one to describe. It's definitely a clean, like powdery florals mixed into it. They are again, quite different from what I typically go for. Just trying out some new things, maybe falling in love with something. If you're interested in trying out Scentbird, make sure to click the link down below and use my code HARLEY30 for 30% off your first month, which makes it just $11. Definitely worth a shot. I'm gonna be so honest with you. I hardly ever leave my house. Like I'm not exaggerating. Literally in 2020, I filled up my car two times with gas. Like I don't go anywhere. I've always felt really awkward filming these videos, but today I feel even more awkward. So this is like really pushing me outside of my comfort zone. Tears are coming to my eyes cause I'm like so nervous, but excited, but nervous. We are at location one Home Depot. We will be visiting two Home Depots and two Lowe's today. I need to nut up and shut up and just do this. <laughs> okay, let's go for real this time. Right off the bat, they have some really cute little fiddly fig trees. They look really healthy, surprisingly. Maybe I'm gonna get one of these. Oh my gosh, am I gonna get one? Maybe, okay. And then they have these little succulent arrangements and these cute little pots. Bromeliads, Anthurium, Dracaena, some more fiddly figs. Palms are so Oh gosh, is that a scale or a snail? I think it's a snail. Uh-oh. Oh. Ooh, these ones are pretty. Aglionema. And these things, which they tend to have year round where I live. And then here's the like actual plant section. This is like usually my favorite section where they keep the hanging plants. Down here, there's just a bunch of miscellaneous succulents. I believe this is a coral fire aloe. So if you've been wanting one after I've been posting about mine so much, Home Depot. Oh look, they have string of dolphins. Looks pretty good for Oh, there's not a price. Oh yeah, there is. Which that's a really good price. Some jade, more jade, peace lily, agave. Oh, those are cute. This ivy is really pretty. I wish I could <laughs> keep ivy alive because I love that. The old typical painted succulents and flowered glued on succulent or cacti. But there's a lot of ivy. It's looking like that's all they have really other than succulents. Oh, Salaginella. This is a type of peperomia, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know the exact name. Pretty cute. Probably gonna pass though. A lot of Aurelia. More Dracaena. Yeah, there's nothing really too exciting here, honestly. 
These begonia are really pretty and pretty big. Um, yeah, so it just looks like they have that peperomia, different kinds of ivy, and trinoscantia for the most part. Some bird's nest ferns. <gasps> but these are cute. Really cute. Maybe I'm gonna get a few of these. Here they have more palm, aglionema, some, oh, I forget what this is called, sorry. Oh yeah, a dracaena and fiddle leaves. That's the extent of it at the first Home Depot location. They have like actually really healthy looking plants. I don't know if it's because they're new shipment, but usually the Home Depots near me suck. So I was really shocked by that. Honestly, okay, side note, I'm like really proud of myself because there were kind of a lot of people there, more than I would expect in the middle of the day. Oh, and I just still kept filming. I'm proud of myself. So, okay, the next location is going to be a Lowe's that's just down the street. Hopefully they have some plants better than this. This Lowe's is actually one of the worst Lowe's I've ever been to, so we'll see. But I'm just kind of going everything in a straight line until I get back to my house. <sighs> We are at Lowe's location number two. And depending on how long it takes here, I might stop at Dillard's and get a pair of sunglasses because I lost my favorite pair hiking and I need some new ones that are polarized. So my, eye, my corneas and retinas don't burn in the sunlight. So maybe I'll stop. I guess I'm feeling a little spunky, a little spicy today. <laughs> Anyway, we are at Lowe's location number two. And like I said, this is the worst Lowe's location I've ever been to for like plant type things, especially house plant things. I don't know why. It just seems like their plants are always rot in a way. So we'll see, let's go do this. I better turn off my car though. <sighs> I can do this. I can do this. I'm scared. Okay, let's go. See Lowe's, head into the garden center. Hopefully they have some goods. I'm seeing a ton of people finding good stuff at Lowe's lately. Fingers crossed. You know what? I think the mask is actually helping my social anxiety in this situation because there's no way anybody would ever recognize me if they think I'm weird here wearing the mask, you know? So I'm feeling pretty, pretty powerful right now. Oh, there's the door. Okay, so first we have a sea of palm, which looks beautiful. I wish I could have this in my house, but I kill it every time. And then here we have these same Dracaenas that seem to be everywhere. Um, some cute Schefflerus. Yeah, these are really cute. I love it. Maybe I'm gonna get one. Bird of Paradise, Diffenbachia. There's like Peace Lily and stuff, Fiddle Leaf all mixed in here. Oh, look, here's a Monstera. Kind of sad. Some Lickety Split. Lots of Peace Lily that look really good. Like, I'm very shocked. Sansevieria. Hydrangea. Is that what this is? Yeah, Hydrangea. I didn't know this was an inside plant, but that's so cute. Some rubber tree. This is a really good find. This is a good size for inside. Cute money tree. I love this pot. I think that's a really cute color. Pothos. It's pretty much all they have. They have asparagus fern, which I've never seen at big box stores near me. Kind of cool. And this more like compact variety. I don't really know the variety names of asparagus fern. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. That is beautiful. Is it meant to be like that? Cute. Aglionema. This is exciting. I know a lot of you guys want this Nanook. So maybe try your Home Depot. Ooh, I like this too. You guys, I chose the absolute day to do this. They're, <laughs> they're all getting new shipments, which is nice. Like I have, you know, the, the pick of the litter as far as plants go, but that means that there's a lot more employees around the garden centers, which is not doing, <laughs> which is helping my anxiety. I'm doing good. Like I'm really proud of myself. <laughs> So I think I'm gonna stop at Dillard's. I do, I'm doing this really quickly. Yeah, I think I'm ahead of a schedule. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna get myself some sunglasses. <sighs> you guys, I'm fuming. 
Okay, so I went to Dillard's. You guys know I used, this is story time, middle story time in the middle of this because I have anxiety. <sighs> and that was already so outside my comfort zone. <sighs> Let me get a swig of water, maybe that'll help. I'm literally shaking, I don't know if you can see. And my heart is pounding. I wonder if the mic is gonna pick it up. I guess first, let's start off on a high note. Let me show you what I got. This is not plant related, I'm so sorry. I'll put a timestamp if you wanna skip forward. I got these glasses, they're cute. They're not the same style as the ones I had before, but they didn't have that style anymore, even though I loved those so much. So these are the ones I got. And the girl was really helpful and I know how bad it sucks to work there. So like <laughs> I feel for her. So I got those and then I just got two pairs of earrings. I got these little um, James Avery small silver hoops. I love James Avery, mostly the earrings. I'm not like all about the cross heart kind stuff, but, and then I got these Nodri earrings. Cute, a little bit fancier, but they'll come in handy. I love earrings. Anyway, okay, so I'm in there. The girl's helping me. I look at sunglasses and I'm like, can you just set these aside? I'm gonna go look at jewelry. A couple pairs of earrings. One of them, she has to pull them out from behind the counter, the James Avery, which I'm standing there waiting for her to find the bag. And like I said, I used to work in jewelry, so I know like how <laughs> frustrating it is to try to dig through all the little bags, especially because people don't keep it well enough organized. Anyway, that's beside the point. She's looking through the bags and we're like sitting there chatting, <sighs> which is so hard for me. Anyway, this other, her coworker that works over in handbags comes stomping over, leans on the counter and goes, you do know there's boxes of inventory back behind the counter over there, right? And the girl helping me, I forgot, their, I didn't ask for their names, I should have. And the girl's like, yeah, I, I know. I'm just working on this over here now. And she's like, well, I just want you to know that I'm not gonna do it, so you're gonna have to do it. And then left. <laughs> While this girl, I walk in, she's doing she's doing her inventory. Then I ask for help and she's super helpful. Oh my gosh, and while she's helping me, her coworker comes over, says that. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Okay, so I buy my stuff. I go upstairs to look at swimsuits and dresses. Like the whole time I was like mulling this over in my head if that was like an appropriate interaction and it really, really bothered me. A, because she speaks to her coworker like that and B, because her she was helping me and she just came over and interrupted our conversation and said that. That's wrong, right? It's not just me. Anyway, that left a really sour taste in my mouth. So on my way out, I said bye to the girl that helped me. Walked up to the other girl. <laughs> I'm shaking. And I said, this is so unlike me. Well, it's not unlike me. I'll, like, I'll stand up for people if I feel like it's wrong. But in this situation where like I already had walked away and then I decided to come back and say something, it's really not like me. Anyway, I walked up to her and I said, ma'am, I just have to let you know, I think it's really inappropriate that you A, talk to your coworker like that to begin with, but B, decided to talk to your coworker like that in front of a customer she was helping. That's extremely inappropriate. And she just went, the girl literally didn't say anything back to me for like five or 10 seconds. So then I turned out and walked away. <laughs> And I like kind of hyped because I'm proud of myself because the girl was really rude. I have so much adrenaline right now. That's so unlike me. It's okay if you don't think that was appropriate of me to do. I would want somebody to stand up for me if I was the coworker being talked to like that, but you know, it is what it is, so. Yeah, I just had to let you know. I know this vein in the middle of my forehead was popping like crazy. That girl's like, who is this psycho woman? Anyway, okay, let's go to the next location, which is going to be Home Depot. So Home Depot number two. I hope they have some good stuff because everywhere else they've had like healthy looking plants, but just like nothing interesting. Well, okay, when I say interesting, like nothing you can't find anywhere else, you know? So let's go, there, has, there hasn't even been a pothos, like don't, you guys know how much I love golden pothos, but there hasn't even been a pothos more exciting than a golden pothos, which I was hoping to see some snow queen, marble queen, I don't know, manjula or something, because I am on the market for a pothos. So let's hope one of these last two locations has it. Anyway, let's go. Grab my phone, get my life together. It's really hard. <laughs> I'm an adult, but I'm not. <laughs> and I forgot to mention, it's like super busy. The parking lot is packed, which is weird for not even one o'clock on a Thursday, in my opinion. Okay, anyway, so here's the second location. I was about to walk in the store and I realized I forgot to put on my mask. I was like, why do I feel so free right now? That was weird. Okay, here's the plant section here. So lots of these fiddle leaf figs, which I saw at the last location too. Again, they look pretty good. Some of them have this like rusting stuff on it. It tends to happen with fiddle leaf figs, but pretty good. Some orchids, bromeliads. Ooh, 
forget what this one's called. Why did I forget this? I have this one. Oh my gosh, why can't I remember the name? Birkin, Philodendron Birkin. They look really good, especially this one and this one. Right there, so pretty. And then they have some ficus, anthurium, ivy, beautiful fern I wish I could keep alive. Ooh, look at this one. I'm very attracted to this. Do I want to buy it? I think I do. Am I going to do this? Rosy maidenhair fern. I'm going to try it. <sighs> Godspeed, little fern. Some small little peace lilies. This is a nice syngonium. Money tree. Sansevieria. Again, nothing really exciting in the hanging department, but they did just get in a shipment, so I wonder if there's anything better in there maybe. Of course, the little grafted euphorbia and painted these succulents. Hate to see it, but it is what it is. This is a cute little gasteria. I don't know the type, but it's cute. Yeah, that's all they have. Let's try and peek in the boxes. I'm gonna buy this and try it. I'm excited, but nervous. <laughs> oh look, here's some more. It's cute. I got the best one for sure. Just kind of some randos. Hi. Yeah, I do like house plants on YouTube. <laughs> Random. <laughs> How does this go? Oh. What a freak. Oh. Thank you. Okay, so this wasn't really a plant shopping trip. I wasn't really expecting to get anything unless it was like kind of pothos or something, but I'm gonna get this maidenhair fern, which is the bane of my existence because they're beautiful, but I kill them like instantly. So I'm going to try it. I had somebody on Instagram tell me to use a water globe on it. So I'm going to try water globes and see if I can keep it alive. It's just so pretty. I can't resist. I have an issue. We're going to go to the last Lowe's location and then go home and eat because I'm starving. Now we're at the last location, which is Lowe's. And this is the Lowe's you've definitely seen the most in my videos because I used to live right down the street of this. So yeah, let's go check it out. And I'm not gonna forget my mask this time. Hopefully they have some good stuff. This is the best Lowe's I've ever been to. So hopefully, and it's where I found my sport Monstera. Hi, we're in the plant section the outside plant section. There's nothing out here. Sometimes they have house plants out here, but not right now because it's still pretty cold most of the time. <gasps> Yay, okay. Oh yeah, this is the best one. So here they have some kangaroo fern, which is cute, but I'm not gonna do it. Oh, a little friendship plant. I forget the actual name. Moon Valley friendship plant. Asparagus fern, Sansevieria, um, Schefflera. They have really cute pots. I really like all the pots right now. Mantherium. Ooh, I've never seen this one before. That one's pretty. And this one. It's really pretty. Oh, this is the one that was from the other place. Oh, some Peperomia obtusifolia. Polka dot plant. They look really good. Strawberry begonia which it doesn't look great. If it looked healthier, I probably would get one, but some pothos. Oh, here's the mandula. I'm not gonna get one of these because I already have a huge one. These are some huge pots of golden pothos. Oh, and they have the rubber tree. Okay, so they have Diffenbachia that was at the other locations. Some Monstera, which I'm gonna check. Some Bird of Paradise. This rubber tree. Oh, this is cute. Little baby Monstera in this cute pot and stand for $19.98. I think that's a really good price. Ooh, some ferns, kangaroo fern. I love that. I'm not going to get it though, because I already got a fern. <laughs> These are a little bit wonky. 
<laughs> stubby little guys. <laughs> a few sad orchids. Diffenbachia. That one's really pretty. Show you closer. Jeflera, Dracaena, polka dot plant. Ooh, these are nice. Some big ones. I already have one this size, but that's a good find. I think some more begonia. Well, these are ones weren't at the last place. They look really nice too. And the fiddle leaf again looks really good. Look at that new growth. Home, Dracaena, Dracaena, Schefflera, that's all they have, dang it. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go home, that was it. Well, that was kind of a bust, so all the places had, don't get me wrong, like super healthy looking plants, especially for big box stores in my experience. Even though they had like common plants that were really healthy looking, they weren't like the common plants that I personally, ah! having a little bit of indigestion or something. They weren't the like plants that I usually go for. So they didn't have as many like hanging plants, which those are the kind of common plants I typically will pick out usually most of the time. That was a really, really quick video. I tried to take as long as I could at each place, which is a bummer, but I did end up with this one maiden hair fern. It says rosy maiden hair, hair fern. And it has like kind of red on some of the leaves. You can't really see out here in full sunlight, but it's so pretty. I'm really hoping I can keep this alive. For those of you that can keep maidenhair ferns alive, I'm begging you, leave me some care tips <laughs> because yeah, really need them. I want this to be happy. It's so pretty. I saw these out. If you watched my Zion camping vlog, camping hiking vlog, you saw that I saw these living out in the slot canyons at, oh, which, which hike was it? The Narrows, on the Narrows, they're just like chilling. They live in rock, like in cracks and rocks, right above the freezing cold water. Like I'm shocked they can live there. So I don't know, how can they live there in the wild? And then I put it in my bathroom and try to give it everything and they die. You're not gonna die though. I have a, I have a feeling about you. I'm really happy I got this. Here's hoping, here's freaking hoping. Please pull through with that care advice for Rosie's sake. Oh, I'm home. I changed into pajamas instantly because <laughs> I had a doctor's appointment. Now I just want to be comfy because the doctor stresses me out. Anyway, I do just want to show you where I will be keeping my new plant, the Rosie Maidenhair Fern. This was $6.98. Did I get it at Lowe's or Home Depot? I got it at Home Depot. Wow. It's actually going to live in my Ikea shelf for now, which I will be um, like re organizing here soon because it's messy. I moved a lot of these plants down into my six foot terrarium. If you watched that video, if not, I'll put it up here or in the description box. I hope this plant will do well for me. Here's hoping, although I'm not holding my breath or anything because I've never done well with them in the past. There she is, so pretty and beautiful. But yeah, that is this video. Let me know what you thought of the plants that they had at these four big box store locations compared to what you have where at the big box stores where you live. So that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one.